Hi guys. Okay. Uh, well, I'm really, really excited. Today, March the 21st, is our deadline date in Acts 27. The Lord said he would have 14 days of watch. After 14 days, Paul said to the disciples, Go ahead and eat because you have been on the watch for 14 days. It was a 14 day period of lamentation and of fasting. So, in order for that to be true, the Lord needed to close it today. Moving on from lamentation to mourning. So, expecting to see the plane today, I'm hoping He's going to manifest it in the physical. But either way, He's going to give us a sign, and He has. Okay? So I'm really, really exciting, excited, and I want to bring this to you guys. Oh, he's been showing me so much stuff, and I'm so excited. I can't wait to bring it to you, but first I'm going to try to collect all my thoughts because there's too much, and it was all coming at me, and I didn't know where to go anymore because oh, I was writing some stuff, and other stuff would come, and then I'd forget where I was, and then I was trying to follow it, and it wasn't going anymore. I couldn't get a chronological order. I was just so excited and I need to come and show you all this stuff that plane is a needle on the cloth he has shown me the cloth he has shown me where we are okay I'm going to try to gather my thoughts today and and do the video as, and maybe start bringing them for you tomorrow, okay? So, um, yeah. But first, I'm going to show you today, as promised, after 14 days from March 7th, the Lord said He would close Purim and we move it from a time of lamentation to a time of mourning, okay? This is what happened today in the news. Oh, I'm hoping we're not going to have the glare. Indiana, a 6.7 powerful earthquake. Okay, I struck India. India, Indian Ocean. Guys, we looked at the study about the sinkhole that it swallowed up. Fire engine in India. And Indiana. And Indiana means from India. India is from Indiana Indianapolis. It's about the police, it's about the territory, and it's about the law, but the territory. Okay, so when we're looking at a word and its root word, they're of the same territory. Okay. So Indiana or India and Indian Ocean, same thing. Okay. So expecting to see something today. That will close off the lamentation and bring it into morning. Maybe the Lord will bring up the flame. It would be really nice. What if that earthquake shook it up? <laughs> Brings it up. But anyway, okay, I need to show you this before I can start. Go back to all my studies and hopefully start bringing it to you and I can show you the clock. Okay, and so much more. 6.7 earthquake. Well, and the concordance, okay, in the Hebrew concordance, 67, okay, I will show you, we will be looking at both the Hebrew and the Greek. In the Hebrew, first of all, it means meadow of Egypt, a place east of the Jordan, and it's referencing just, just one occurrence. So there's no confusion. I love when that happens. 67 means only one scripture in the entire Bible. Genesis 50, 11. So I click this link up and I open it up for you. And now I will read it, okay? Now... Oh my God, if I go back to to 10, I get even more information. And I will do that because the words just popped up. 
When they came to the threshing floor of Atad, which is beyond the Jordan, they lamented there with a very great and sorrowful, sorrowful lamentation. And he observed seven days mourning for his father. Okay? So prior to verse 11 where we're going in verse 10, it's a verse about lamentation. So it confirms where we were going. And it's not seven days. The object of our study is not this verse. It was Acts 27, about 14 days. But what he's establishing here, before we get to our verse 11, was that verse 10, it was first of all about lamentation. Now we're going into verse 11, into the next phase, which is today, 6.767. And when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mourning at the threshing floor of Atad, they said, this is a grievous mourning for the Egyptian. This 6.7 year today, this is a grievous mourning, mourning for the Egyptian. Verse 10, Lamentations, verse 11. Now, the object of the 6.7, it has now moved into mourning from verse 10 to verse 11. This is the sign from the Lord today. So, right on target, exactly what he showed us, confirming this entire study. I thank you guys, but confirming me. Thank you, Lord that I'm, I'm understanding what you're saying and showing, establishing it publicly with the 6.7, all this study. He said it, 239 passengers, he said it, it was all him. Thank the Lord. 67 in the Greek. Okay, means oh my gosh, I just had a thought. If he's bringing this publicly today, he's establishing me. I wonder if it's the revealing. He's been showing me so much stuff last night. It's really about illumination. Anyways, I'll tell you that much. 67 in the Hebrew, or, or the Greek. Now we're moving on to the Greek. It's referencing Acts 25:13. I hope there's not too much glare and I can show you. Oh, I can't get it. I'm so sorry. Acts 25, 13. I'll read it for you with pleasure. Now, when several days had elapsed, and guys, this is certainly the case here. I don't know what the story was before. I'm reading the verse, okay? Now, when several days had elapsed, King Agrippa and Bernice arrived at Caesarea and paid their respects now, when several days have passed, the king has arrived and paying his respects. Guys, it's a visitation. Today. Today. It just occurred to me, I don't know if it's the revealing, and this is it. I don't know. I don't know. But resurrection happened. The revealing, maybe, is what that means. So today is manifesting, eight days later. I can't tell you everything that's coming to my mind. It's coming so strong every side. 
I'm wondering if this is it. The revealing is showing so much, okay? Illumination. I don't know. But this says it's today. So whatever this is, baby, something else will happen. I don't know. But it says it's today. Now, when several days have elapsed, the king arrived and paid their respects. Well, the king and Bernice and pay their respects to Festus. Visitation. The king visiting. Today paying his respects. Manifesting itself to his apostle one eighth day. So can I cross off that resurrection? Sixty seven today in the Greek says yes, this is manifestation day. So for this the manifestation day, the Lord was resurrection on the 13th at license plate 313. Okay. I just wish I had my sheet where I see it right over there at the other end of the table. Oh, I go. I gotta go. I'm gonna, I'll be right back. Guys, the resurrection has happened. Confirmed today. Oh, I don't even need to write it. The Lord had already put the date on there. <laughs> resurrection on the 13th happened. Confirmed today, March 21st. Eight days later, he appears to his disciples. <sighs> Everything confirmed today. Everything about this entire study about this or about this and this and this, it's all happened. He's closing it off today. With that or quite. It's our sign. Guys. Okay. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope something else happens because honestly I'm so tired. <laughs> it's been just a big oof of information, but uh, really, really exciting stuff that I want to bring to you. It's the clock. It's ticking. I gotta show you where we are. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'll put it all together as best as I can today. So I hereby proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd. 2015, repent, be baptized, please receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about it in Acts 2.38. Um, I think the baptism is the key because yesterday he told us with the nine unopened seals, the seal was referencing the nine in the Greek, the word of God coming to John in the wilderness, and he said, go out and baptize. That was the nine in the Greek, and, this, and it was about being sealed. The word of the Lord came. I, I couldn't tie in the scripture. I knew it meant something, and it showed it to me afterwards. That was the link I was missing. Go out and baptize the, the Lord. The word of the Lord came to John in the wilderness saying, Go out and baptize. And then it was about the seal. I think if you are sealed, it's the baptism. Emerging in the water. Being in the water, there are scriptures in the Bible that say when you are underwater, you are dead in Christ. So, I think that's the seal. I can't confirm it yet. Okay? But that's what the nine unopened seals was revealing. Okay? The word of God in the wilderness, saying to John, go out and baptize. Okay? Please get baptized. We are so running out of time. I put a video out there 
the Lord had me at one point saying to people to go get themselves baptized and in return to baptize other people. And when he said that to me, I said, Lord, it's almost like you want to start a chain. And he said, it's time to get people into the promised land. It's time to get people back home. I put out that video. I've said those messages here. I've said those messages to my family because they're Catholics. And um, this is not the baptism that the Lord is asking for. Okay? So, if you're not sure, you can go out there and you can Google all this stuff. I personally have put a video out on this where the Lord is asking you to get baptized. And in the meantime, as well, you baptize other people. You tell them to baptize other people. And when I said, Lord, because I just have a shower upstairs, I didn't even have bathtub that I could baptize my children in. He told me not to stand on the doctrines of men, that he is the judge of all things. Guys, he's telling you right now, he's looking to the heart. Make that pledge and dip your head in the water. Don't send me an email asking me, can you baptize yourself? I don't know. I'm telling you, bring it to the Lord. Okay? You certainly have nothing to lose to say, Lord, please baptize me. My heart is in the right place and do it. Just do it. At least he knows. Maybe it's not what he's looking for. But if he's got no choice at all, you don't know what he's going to accept because he wants to save you. Just do it. Okay? Just do it. Like he said to me, do not stand on the doctrines of men. Eternity is in the balance and he wants to save you. Okay? Or baptize somebody else and let them baptize you back. Okay? Hopefully somebody with the Holy Spirit. If you know that they have themselves had the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it's a great place to start. If you're not, please don't drown because of it try something, anything. Baptize yourself if you have to. Take it to the Lord. Ask if you'll accept it. Okay? Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.